Welcome back to Recapped Cinema. Today I'm going to explain, a movie called The Big Friendly Giant that is the BFG. A movie opens with a young cute girl, Sophie was the name of this little cute girl who used to live in an orphanage. Sophie suffered sleep disorders called insomnia. So she used to spend her night while waking up. She continues to wander around the orphanage. Because she had a sleep disorder throughout the night. She also had a fear like the other kids as there is an old man who appears in the darkness. And he abducts the children. After this he eats these children after killing them. One night when all were sleeping, she heard a noise from outside and she went to look for it. Suddenly she notices that a giant's hand, sets the trash bin in its place, appearing from there, back of the building. Sophie had seen that giant. And she immediately moves to her bed. But that giant captures Sophie, putting its hand in the window. And it takes her away with it. It is seen that this giant used to keep itself hidden from humans. And then it sneaks out from there. Then it steps into another world taking Sophie. And it was the giant's world. It means that only giants, live there. Sophie notices that it is a grand house. And everything in that house was gigantic in size like the giants. Sophie attempts to escape from there. Giant says to her, there is no way to escape. So you cannot go anywhere from here. Because there are other giants that don't take pity on any human being. And their captured person is engulfed by them. Knowing Sophie is more, frightening. So she asks the old giant, will you also eat me? That old giant tells on it, no. I don't eat human beings. Because I am a vegetarian, not a man-eater. It indicates that it is a sympathetic and kind-hearted giant. She asks the old giant why have you brought me here if you don't eat humans? The old giant tells you that you have seen me. You could tell someone there about me, and my, life might be in danger in this way. Knowing about us human beings reaches here. And they also put an end to the other giants. Because of that I had to bring you here. Now you will spend the whole span of your life with me here. She said I will flee from here. The old giant replied never take a risk to run away. Otherwise the giants which are outside will not take pity on you. Saying it that old, giant places Sophie on a board. And it says to her, have a rest for some time. But Sophie used to suffer from sleep disorders. Then she notices that a giant is taking out the big bottles from its bag. Then she asks the giants, what is in these bottles? An old giant tells her it's a dream. She replied how can I dream? Because I suffer from a sleep disorder. Then that giant starts reading that book which was in Sophie's possession. Now that other giants are coming to that old giant. In fact they are bigger than that old giant. And started to capture Sophie. Sophie requests the giant, let me go from here. Sophie wakes up exactly after this. It means that Sophie was having a nightmare. And Sophie asks that giant after waking up, it is you who did it. Because neither I sleep nor I, dream. But the dream that you have shown to me was a nightmare. That giant says I had to do it. I did so to inform you how much risk is wandering outside for you. So it will be better for you to stay here. The aged giant explains to Sophie the presented giant here is bigger in size than me. Because I am a small giant and also aged one. Then a huge giant came inside as they were still conversing, with each other. And it was truly bigger than that aged giant. That giant asks the old giant while coming, pygmy. Here all giants used to call the aged giant a pygmy because it was smaller in size than others. That bigger giant's hand was wounded so it had come to the old giant for dressing. As being cannibal, the giant senses the smell of human beings in that house. Then Sophie moves into that vegetable which the old giant used to eat. Smelling that vegetable, the giant senses the humans are there. But it was smelling like an enticing human being in this vegetable today. Because Sophie was inside so the giant began to eat it. The old giant says, witnessing it, stop. The old giant started to move outside and said, I am going for urgent work. She asks, what is that urgent work? 
but it does not reveal anything but it reveals on the insistence of Sophie that I am going to capture the dreams. Then Sophie insists it, take me with you. But he did not want to accompany her with him, because there will be fatal consequences if the sleeping giants outside are awakened and see her. So it did not want to take any danger. Old Giants agrees to take Sophie with it on her utmost, insistence. They notice coming outside that those giants are sleeping profoundly. So they wanted to cross them but all giants were awakened at the same time. And then they begin to irritate the aged giant that, pick me. Where are you going? It says on it, I am going on with my job. Those giants say to it, we don't want you to go outside from here, in the world of humans. Because our lives would be, at risk if human beings knew about us. Or giants irritated the aged giant too much. Getting a chance, Sophie hides in a vehicle. Then the aged giant says while pointing to the sky that, look at that all witness that it is cloudy and it is going to rain. Actually all giants used to be afraid of the water. Because they had an irrational fear of water. Then it starts raining. And all the giants, hide from there. Getting the advantage of it, both the old giant and Sophie go from there. They begin to climb up the mountains. It tells that I can hear the sound of each thing in the universe. I can hear the ants and insects, I can even hear the tails of the trees. My audibility is too strong to hear the voice of things in the universe. Then both reach the opposite brink of the lake. And it is, the world of dreams. And the aged giant comes here only to capture them. Then they both capture many dreams together. These included both good and bad dreams. Capturing these dreams, they begin to move back. The aged giant also tells her about its sad story. That here all giants call me pygmy. I have also met someone who used to call me the big friendly giant hearing it Sophie says, I will also call you the big friendly giant now on. They wander the city after capturing the dreams. Where the kids are sleeping in their own houses. And the big friendly giant awards them very good dreams during their sleep. So the people may get the pleasure in their dreams. Here it is known that the big friendly giant, is a tender hearted giant. Who awards the dreams to the people, taking them, from the dream world. So these may bring pleasure in their life, no matter during their sleep. Sophie asks were you told about the dreams by your parents? The big friendly giant tells on it, giants have no parents. Then she asks the age of the big friendly giant. How old are you? The big friendly giant tells that my age is equal to this universe age. It means the giants had also been created with the creation of this universe. But they live in this universe behind the walls, hiding themselves from the human beings. Suddenly Sophie asks where is my blanket? Actually Sophie's blanket had been left in the giant's world and the big friendly giant gets worried about this fact. So it says to Sophie I cannot bring you back now. And the same kid taught me how to read. And your, worn jacket belongs to that innocent little friend. But it was too late before I brought that child into his world. And I don't want to see you face the same consequences which my innocent friend faced. Because you are also my friend now. Whereas Sophie forbids it to stay here. And she insists on accompanying it. At this time, the giant does not agree with her. Then the big friendly giant, begins leaving her in the orphanage. Sophie did not want to stay there so she jumped off the balcony. Because she knew that she would be secured by the BFG. And it happens the same the big friendly giant saves her. So it has to agree with Sophie unwillingly. So it brings her again into the world of the giants. Where the rest of the giants were already waiting for them. Because all there, giants had come to know that the old giant has some humans. So all the giants were curious to know who is that human being? Where is that human? So they discover the house of the big friendly giant smelling the blanket. But the big friendly giant burns that blanket with the smell of Sophie. Then it asks all giants to leave its house. Sophie notices the hanging photo on the wall. It was a photo of a queen. She asks the big friendly giant to make a dream for the queen. And expose in that dream that there is a world of giants in the same universe. 
and those giants are too dangerous to eat all kids and kill them. And you may also bring both of us in that dream. So the queen may recognize us if we go before them. Now the queen is waking up. The queen is scared because it was a nightmare. Because giants were eating the children. The queen shares her dream to her attendant. Her attendant consoles her saying, don't worry. It was just your nightmare. Because many kids had been lost from their city last night. It happens the same as you have dreamt. Then the queen says withdraw the curtains. Sophie was standing near the window sill as the curtains were withdrawn. They had actually made it part of the dream. And they had also included the big friendly giant there. Sophie tells them about the big friendly giant. She also takes the words of the queen saying, promise me that you will not harm to the big friendly giant. Then the big friendly giant appears before the queen and bends it down with etiquette. Then they reveal everything to the queen. There are two bigger giants in the giant's world, which eat the kids and human beings catching them. So the queen gets ready to help them with their military forces. With the help of the big friendly giant, they move to the giant's world, getting in the helicopters. So they stop at a place according to a plan. The plan included that the big friendly giant will create a dream. And the big friendly giant will include the repentance and guilt in these dreams. But Sophie courageously takes that dream jar to the place of sleeping giants. The leader of those giants wakes up before Sophie was able to break this jar. Sophie breaks the jar as it is going to grab her. And that dream is delivered to the sleeping giants. Waking up those giants feel guilt on their bad doings but the big giant attacks Sophie. But the big friendly giant appears before the giant. That giant catches the BFG in its hand because of big friendly giant's small size. As it try to kill the big friendly giant the queen's armed military arrives there in the helicopter. And they take all giants with them by seizing them. And they are left on an island amid the sea. So they could not escape from there. So they have been entrapped here for a lifetime with the surrounding water. The queen throws the seeds of food stuff there for those giants. So these giants may grow the vegetables using those seeds. And they eat that vegetable for the lifetime. And they have to eat this vegetable living on this island forever. After this Sophie is shown who does not stay in the orphanage, but she lives in the palace of the queen. And she can also contact the big friendly giant at any time. Because the big friendly giant had said that it can hear each sound of this universe. On the other side the big friendly giant who has been left alone in the giant's world, who has grown many other vegetables in the giant's world besides that meadow. The last scene shows that Sophie comes to the windowsill daily and says good morning to their BFG. Thank you for watching please do like and subscribe for more videos like this. At the beginning of the cinema, a young Michael is seen visiting an old house with his parents. Michael's mother was expecting a kid, and Michael's parents were pleased with the prospect of their child's coming. As a result,